Hey guys and welcome back to another video. This week we start to explore Outback Queensland. Hello, all right, so we've just pulled up here at Porcupine Gorge. There is a campground, if you want to stay, we're not gonna stay, we're gonna keep going to Hewenden. So how far was it from Ainsley this morning? It was about a three and a half hour drive. Yep, about three and a half hours, and then we're not too far from Hewenden, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for a little walk, Pyramid Lookout, Gorge Access Track, so. Yeah, we'll go have a look and um, bring you along. Alright, so just behind us is Pyramid Rock. Uh, it's only a 20 minute walk down. Uh, pretty steep though, so on the way up it's definitely going to be a bit harder. So <laughs> maybe don't do it in the hottest part of the day like we are right now. Pretty but you cool. can always go for a swim. Mm. This water hole looks pretty nice actually, so I might go for a quick dip. But we'll keep having a look around. Alright, so we just finished the Porcupine Gorge hike. And then a bit further down the road there is the lookout. Um, it's actually really impressive, the gorge. Mm. So well worth the hike and well worth checking out. Maybe just try and do it in a cooler part of the day. Yeah, <laughs> We're a bit bugger now, but um, you know, it was well worth it. The gorge is huge. Mm. So we're going to keep going on to Hewenden. So we are in Hewenden. Um, we've been through here once before in LC. We came through last year on the way up to Townsville after we went to Winton. But we actually didn't do much. We literally just stopped in at the bakery and kept driving. But yeah, we're here for a couple of days. Tonight, we're just gonna watch sunset. This is Mount Walker. Hewenden also have a really cool discovery information center that has heaps of information. There's fossil king around the area. Um, it's on the dinosaur trail as well. And yeah, it's the home to the Mutter Buttersaurus, I think its name is Mutt for short, which is a dinosaur or dinosaur remains that they found in the area. So yeah, there's a lot, lot to see in Hewenden. It's only a small place, but yeah, a lot to see. Tomorrow we're actually heading out to some country races out at Carinya. So yeah, it should be pretty fun. Something a little bit different tomorrow. So we'll just watch sunset and hopefully it's a good one. We've got some good clouds. All right, we are up early here in Hewenden this morning. We just went for a walk around the lake and just went to the bakery and got a feed. If you are in town, Holden Bakery, it's very good. Nice coffee, good food. One little thing you can do here, obviously around here, it's big on fossils and all that kind of thing. And there's a gypsum quarry nearby and they dig up a whole heap of these kind of rocks. <coughs> there's like round kind of round, they call them moon rocks. They're not moon rocks, but they're round rocks and they've got literally a couple of piles of them here and you can literally just come here in town and crack them open and see if you can find a fossil inside they'll usually have something in them, a little shell or ammonite or something like that so 
I'm gonna crack open a few rocks and see if I can find some fossils to take home. You can take home, find us keepers, so maybe you'll find the discovery of a of the century, who knows? And no permits required for this. No just... permits required. It says obviously to bring down a pick and stuff, but we don't have a pick with us, so <laughs> We don't have a pick with we didn't bring our fossil tools and our fossicking tools, unfortunately, on the plane with us. <laughs> so, um, oh no, they th they weren't didn't allow me to have my pick on the carry on. I don't um, know why. So um, Matt's just gonna smash a rock and see how we go. <laughs> it's a hard rock. Maybe I should get a smaller rock. <clears throat> oh, got it. All right. few layers of something in there. Don't know what that is. This looks like sandstone or something. I don't know how long it's been since that's seen light. <laughs> A few hundred million years probably. No fossils. Might keep looking. I want to find something. Is that, is, that, it's like, is that an ammonite in there? I just haven't. I haven't got the most precise tools to work with. <laughs> I think I just cracked maybe one in half, an ammonite or something. <sighs> See, this going really badly. Yes, that's a perfect split. <laughs> Look at that! Nothing in it! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Yeah, that would be something, right? I don't think so. It's a bit of rock. I could split though. <laughs> Can fossic. The Karinya races have been running for more than 100 years and are the only grass fed races held in Queensland. This means that the trainers can't feed their horses supplements and there are no starting barriers. This event is held once a year over a full weekend and people travel far and wide to attend. We spoke to a few locals who gave us a hot tip for number five for the next race. But unfortunately, it wasn't our day and the horse came dead last. guys so we today have left uh, Hewenden and now we are in a place called Richmond. Richmond is about an hour and 15 west of Hewenden. Again still on the dinosaur trail here they have the Chronosaurus. I'm assuming that's the type of dinosaur. Thanks. <laughs> it's heavy this setup. <laughs> it is. Anyway um, yeah yesterday in Hewenden we went to the races out at Carinya which is really cool they've been running for over a hundred years. Used to be invite only, we were told this morning. Mm. So pretty yeah, cool that we could go. Spider. Yeah, so today we're just exploring Richmond. We'll be here tomorrow as well, so we'll show you some points of interest around town. Yeah, if you're in the area, you can go and check it out yourself, so mm. we'll get to it. We are off to the pub for lunch, so we're heading to the Mud Hut Hotel. Mud Hut Hotel is an interesting name for a pub, eh? It is, especially not in Cooper Pedy. Anyway, <laughs> um, we're going to go there and have some lunch. Mud huts. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're off to the hotel for lunch. <laughs> We've turned up this morning here to Chronosaurus Corner. So they discovered the skeleton of this creature here a couple of years ago, or many years ago. And uh, yeah, we're gonna find out about it today. Admission into the museum is $30 per adult and $20 per child. 
and they do have family passes for $80. We're about 11 k's out of Richmond now. We're just heading to the public dig site um, where you can go fossil king and search for fossils. Uh, so this is open to public, there's an admission fee. I don't think it's very much. Five, um, five bucks. Yeah. Five bucks for the year. <laughs> so not much at all. Um, but if you find fossils out here, you can keep them. So if you find, you know, fish, you know, teeth or you know, shark teeth, fish scales, all those kind of things. Um, but really significant fossils have been found out here. So it's not just some sort of little dig site where you can find a few bits and pieces, shells and that kind of thing. They've found incredible, like some of their best fossils have been found out here. Uh, like in 2014, a six year old girl found this incredible skull, um, fossilized skull, which is on display in the museum now. And uh, they've been telling us that they've found some really significant stuff just recently that they haven't released yet um, out here. So. Yeah, it's amazing that you can just go out here and do this. Um, it'd be great to take the kids and, and uh, I think they'd get a real kick out of it. So yeah, we'll see what we can find. That's bits of fish, there's shells. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Within not even 10 minutes digging, five minutes, a fish jaw, a decent little fish jaw about this big. Um, Kevin's just going to put some glue on it now, uh, just to sort of preserve it a bit. But it, it is really that easy. Like every everything I turned up, there was something. There was fish, fish teeth, scales, bones. Really amazing. Really good fun. Like it'd be good for the kids because you know, a couple of goes and you've got something always. So yeah really really fun <laughs> it's addictive i think all right so we've just finished up out of the fossil site uh where you can just go and dig and literally within a couple of minutes of me just scrounging around i found a quite a good little fish jaw <laughs> 100 million year old fish jaw and decent size and he said look that's a pretty good find um but yeah he said stuff like that just pops up all the time so that's that's amazing that you know you can just and we can take that home if it's a bit more significant obviously they would want you to don donate it which is fine um but yeah i just thought it's amazing so if you're in the area uh definitely check out um chronosaurus corner uh we were saying it's it's better than the age of dinosaurs out of winton the display is better the fossils are better um but yeah, it, that gets all the, the limelight. Is age of dinosaurs and out here, not so much, but it just, it's amazing. Um, the plesiosaur that they have on, on display in there is so well preserved. I mean, it looks like, like I've seen cow skulls that are in worse condition <laughs> in the paddock. Um, it looks like it died, you know, 10 years ago, not, not 100 million, which is, you know, 30 million years older than T-Rex. Um, so really good probably one of my highlights on this trip so far definitely go and have a look go and have a dig kids will love it um, adults will love it apparently the adults are the ones that are hard to get away from the fossil site so definitely go check it out we really enjoyed it